Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology forecast for Thursday, February 20th, 2020. All right, so quite a bit going on here astrologically today. We have the moon finishing expansive Sagittarius. So still a good day of expanding our perception about things in life and maybe getting into that spiritedness um, about these inspirations or potentials. Um, we do have the moon passing over Saturn-Pluto conjunction we've had this year. So maybe some restructuring, a uh, new step with some restructuring that's been taking place this year. Uh, in our life. And we have Jupiter, sextile, Neptune exact. So there could be maybe some of those uh, inspirations or potentials that we may see as uh, kind of guiding us spiritually or things are kind of ebbing and flowing perhaps, or at least we can access more of that um, acceptance along the life journey. And Mars trining up to Uranus, squaring up to Chiron going into tomorrow. Um, likely today, maybe some uh, unorthodox way of taking action, feeling a bit uh, eccentric, unique, and more of our true self aligned with our more assertive side and direct side. So let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when I return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. You will notice the signs are different from mainstream astrology. So if you are new, definitely check out that link down below for more information on using the actual constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon, which represents the theme of the day, uh, finishing up Sagittarius and entering Capricorn, the very later part of the day, and mostly just for those very far west in the world. But um, yes, the first part at the very least, uh, this energy still dealing with expanding our perception, which is what Sagittarius symbolizes. And so really good for seeing potentials, things that inspire us, and maybe getting into a bit of that adventurous side. Um, with the moon here. Um, for those of you far west, in the later part of the day, you may start to feel some of that Capricorn energy, which is more grounded, and that deals more with um, developing discipline, patience, and responsibility, right? More of the long-term energy there, the later part. And that's the location where we had the last uh, lunar cycle, this one that we're finishing up here this week. And so it could be good going into tomorrow to, again, finalize some things. We'll have a new moon on Sunday. And so uh, as we approach Sunday, it is the ending phase of the cycle. Good to complete, find some closure, maybe create some space in our life, release some things perhaps uh, that will allow for the new beginnings uh, going into next week. All right, so in terms of the aspects, quite a bit going on. We do have this um, Jupiter sextiling up to Neptune that uh, is going to be taking place for the whole year. And in this context, there could be maybe some new um, things that we're, we're seeing that can kind of help guide us a bit spiritually. Uh, it's not a major aspect, but it is a nice harmony between that inspiring side of Jupiter in Sagittarius in harmony with Neptune, the spiritual planet, or the planet that, you know, the side of ourself that can have more acceptance and see how things kind of ebb and flow along the journey. So a bit of an opening there. It does favor things like spirituality, philosophy, um, a bit of that um, adventurousness, if it's more about what guides us on a soul level, right? Maybe some of these inspirations that guide us on a soul level. Uh, just a bit of an opening there for combining the water and fire elements of our life. Now, going into tomorrow, we do have uh, Mars starting to trine up to Uranus and squaring up to healing Chiron. So uh, as the day unfolds, and especially going into the weekend, uh, we could notice a bit of this maybe newfound sense of freedom with our initiating side. So a really good time of taking action in ways that are maybe outside of our norm, outside of our comfort zone, or just a bit unique or different, or maybe challenges the status quo in some way. So a good harmony there between Mars, our initiating side, and Uranus, our free sort of true self side that does want to induce change, revolutionize things, and experiment. Uh, very good harmony there uh, for all things that do require a bit of that initiative with Mars. And uh, with that does come a square up to Chiron. So there could be some wounds that come up perhaps in the process where there might be some wounds around our confidence or independence or identity in some way as we might be taking this action um, you know, in this uh, unique way, in this more freeing way. So if any wounds do come up, it is a great day and tomorrow to 
um, you know, go in to, to maybe take some action in the face of those wounds and maybe do some healing with that side of ourself, or maybe even challenge ourselves to just do some healing in general, whether it's physical healing or spiritual healing, could be a very constructive way of working with that, um, that energy, especially as we do, again, get into a bit of that eccentric, unique, and different side of taking action um, as we get into uh, tomorrow. All right, so that's definitely the most important stuff going on today, but the moon is also going to be passing over Saturn and Pluto. So there could be this new step in the right direction in regards to whatever started to transform or change uh, in regards to our structures this year since January. Um, so last month we had Saturn and Pluto conjoining, and that's been this restructuring that's now starting to take place this year in regards to the things we've relied on in the past or what you might consider our foundations in life going through this transformation. And so maybe a new step, a new beginning in the right direction with that. All right, everyone. So that's the day in a nutshell. Most important thing here is that we do have this still free spirited energy of Sagittarius. Uh, good to expand our horizons going into tomorrow. A bit of that uh, responsible energy of Capricorn. Good to develop as we do finalize and complete this current lunar cycle and uh, gear up for a new moon on um, Sunday. And we do still have Mercury retrograde, so still good to be flexible with ideas and planning and things like that as things are likely changing and in flux um, with the things we're thinking about. And uh, going into tomorrow, we do have this um, sort of eccentric, unique way of taking action, challenging the status quo a little bit, maybe doing some healing in the process. And um, Jupiter sextile Neptune, good to see how there might be some openings to guide us spiritually or what's important on a soul level based on what inspires us and, um, you know, kind of ebb and flow along that life journey a bit. All right, everyone. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow for the weekend forecast. Take care.